Alright, she's looking pretty decent. Uh, now, just gonna slap it onto the car. guys it's Jed again back with another video thanks for tuning in in this video we're gonna do a little simple mod on the RSX I don't think I mentioned it in any of the past videos recently uh, I know if you follow me on Instagram you probably know but I had an a spec front lip on my RSX but I sold it so the a spec lip looks nice like there's no doubt about it even though mine wasn't really the best in terms of paint that could have been solved with paint or or wrap or you know whatever the thing is for my purposes for this car track it's the thing is it's not really great for what i want to do with the car which is track you know it's bulky it's, it's actually the way it's designed it's gonna hinder future plans that i have in my head in terms of aero for example if you look at the ace pick lip it's not like flat on the on the bottom so i have to like make up for that because i mean i don't want to get too into it but the arrow on the front end of the car is going to be a big thing for me in the coming in the near future you know so i sold it i didn't sell it for very expensive it's an, it was actually an authentic one too but i sold it i did recently buy secondhand from someone local a new lip. It's a lip slash splitter type of thing. I bought it for cheap because it was second hand, but even brand new, these things are cheap. It's from Magic Drift, I think it's called. They're like a, one of those, you know, really cheap rep companies, I think. They sell some of the stuff on eBay too. But in terms of design, it's gonna be the basis of what I want in terms of like the future uh, arrow for the car, specifically the future splitter, front splitter, and all that. So, you know, I'll show you. There it is right there. Notice that it's flat. Which will make it sealing against the future splitter a lot better than the A-spec lip, which is what I want. And so yeah, here in a little bit, I am gonna remove this bumper and we're gonna go ahead and install it. By the way, uh, when you buy these brand new from their website, they usually come with self-tapping screws for mounting, but this one didn't, obviously, so I just bought some from Home Depot. Also need to get some double-sided tape for extra security. And I, I got some Loctite too. I, I've been meaning to get new Loctite, but I, so I went ahead and bought this, but I might as well use some of that on these screws too, just for added uh, security. Because, uh, Last thing I want are these screws to fall out since the splitter is going to be like in front of the tires and stuff. So yeah, this is pretty much all you need. Well, I guess also a drill or a, you know, some kind of drill or something to drill these in. All right, just for reference, that's how it's supposed to look. I just laid it on top uh, before I did anything. So that's more or less how it looks. Um, by the way, I did spray down the surface with brake cleaner just to you know get off any oils or whatever before I put the double sided tape. Yeah. Alright so now I'm just gonna go ahead and put some double sided tape on this mounting spot that goes to the bumper. Living the fast life with fast cars. Everywhere we go, people know who we are. A team from out of Queens with the American dream. So we're fighting up a scheme to get the seven figure green. Living a fast life with fast cars. Everywhere we go, people know who we are. A team from out of Queens with the American dream. So we're fighting up a So we're fighting up a scheme to get the seven figure green. Let me 
so I got all the Gorilla uh, double-sided tape. I got them in sections, like pretty much in between these mounting holes. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put them, put this on the bumper, and uh, have it lined up and everything before we uh, start doing the screws, the self-tapping screws. By the way. Um, I changed my mind. What I'm gonna do is mount. Um, I already mounted the center uh, tape, and now I'm just gonna put in the two screws beside it. And then as I go, I'm gonna remove. Uh, I'm gonna expose the tape, put a screw in, expose the tape, put a screw in. Also, what I'm gonna do is before I screw in the screw all the way in, I'm gonna put in some some blue Loctite. Those first two screws in, this piece of tape is in there. And now we're just gonna do remove, remove tape, screw in, remove tape, screw in, remove tape, screw in. side guys um pretty good um i had to make a new hole here oh hold on i had to make a new hole here see this is the real hole but as if you could you could probably see through it but or maybe not but that's actually one of where one of the mounting holes for the a spec lift was so the screw wasn't even going into anything so i had to just go ahead and said fuck it made a new new spot um some of this tape isn't sticking which is fine because I'll probably once I'm done with this I'll put it on the ground and kind of go inside here with my foot and kind of step on it to make sure it, it, it uh, sticks onto this uh, to the tape uh, but yeah so now I'm gonna go ahead and do this side size down not too hard of a job it is kind of tricky with the tape and everything but you know it's, it's whatever so right now I'm just gonna put it on the ground uh, see what I can do with making sure the tape sticking and everything all right she's looking pretty decent uh, now gonna slap it onto the car. Alright guys, there it is. It's installed, it's on. It's actually pretty solid. I, I, I kind of I grabbed it and moved it around and it's actually pretty solid. That uh, Gorilla double-sided tape is rated up to like 30 pounds or something like that. So it should be it should help in keeping it there, especially when like going fast and stuff because of downforce and all that. Um, but yeah, it looks decent. 
I'm not that much of a fan of it, but you know, it looks decent. I don't really care about painting it or anything. One thing I will say though, one thing I want to do is get some black duct tape and seal, seal that this little, the little crevice where it meets with the, with the bumper, seal all that all the way around. So that way no air gets in there. Uh, should improve aero in the long run and whatnot. But yeah, so now that the lip is on, I could definitely look forward to getting a splitter, um, a flat splitter, especially since this is flat, it'll, splitter will definitely go up against this. I'm also planning on getting block off plates for this. As you can see, I don't know if I, I don't remember if I've mentioned this already, but I lost my, uh, one of my brake duct vents. So I just took them off all together and talked to a lot of track guys and they said that most a lot of them just block off this stuff because it actually adds drag even if you have something there like a fog light so I want to figure out a way to make a block off plate for these fog lights probably figure out a way to do um, brake ducts like over here or something I don't know we'll see but yeah it's right there it's good makes it look a little lower in the front which is nice you know <laughs> alright guys that's it for today not that uh not that uh hard of a job or anything it's not even really much of a big mod really this although I will say this is the beginning the first stage the first step into working on the on the arrow of the car specifically the front but arrow in general you know so so yeah if you guys you know found this video informative or whatever please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe comment if you want and uh, I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.